Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be building, reviewing, and driving the 4x4 Extreme Off Rotor, which is official LEGO Technic set 42099. This set here consists of 958 parts, which is divided into three different bags. It also comes with four robust tires and a large sticker sheet. Now this is an RC car, so it does come with lots of different LEGO Technic control elements as well. It has two extra large motors, one large motor, and one Bluetooth controller smart hub. The instruction manual is quite large as well. It does consist of 220 pages. I am extremely excited to build this 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader. It is the first time that I've ever built something that is sort of a Lego RC car. I'm also super excited to experiment and learn how the Lego Technic control elements do work because I've never actually used these four elements before. But anyways, let's continue building this thing here and then we'll do a full review and then we'll have some fun with this thing and drive it around various terrains. So I rarely build Technic, but whenever I build Technic sets, such as this uh, 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader, I am extremely impressed, to say the least. Uh, the box says that this thing is uh, for 11 years old and plus, but honestly, if an 11-year-old built this thing, I would be impressed with that 11-year-old. I'd be like, congratulations, buddy, because this thing is pretty advanced. I can't believe that all these Lego parts came together to build uh, a fully functioning RC car. We will be uh, driving this thing through various terrains here, all constructed from Lego in this video as well. So make sure you stay tuned. But first I wanna talk a little bit about this car or RC 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader. So this outer shell here, the orange with all the sticker elements on it, uh, does come off quite easily. There's just a Technic pin right here and one on the opposite side. You just pull those two pins out 
And then there's one more pin uh, on the front here that you pull out as well. And now that's gonna allow you to remove the shell that's going to reveal the Technic framework of this sort of Lego RC car. Now you can see all these wires here that's uh, connecting the three different motors that power this RC car to the control box right here, which is powered by th uh, six AA batteries. I really like how easy they've made this to access because you're gonna be changing these batteries quite often. Obviously uh, running uh, large motors of, of Lego brand takes a lot of voltage and batteries. So uh, you're gonna be changing your batteries quite often. And I just really like the, the simple design to put the shell or take the shell off uh, so that you can access that battery box and sort of see the interior, fix anything if it fall apart as you're driving around various terrains. And I just think that's a really neat concept. So you built, uh, there's actually three different bags. So uh, you built one half of it, then you built the other half of it, and then you built the shell and put the tires on. You can see the frame here is full of sticker pieces. Uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of large sticker and small sticker pieces that went into uh, making this thing look as good as it does. I sort of wish they were print pieces, but obviously that's just not doable. If these were all print pieces, that would ramp up the price of this set tremendously. Um, however, being that they're not sticker pieces, I am a little bit hesitant in driving it outside right now because where I live it is uh, minus 15 and there is uh, a few inches of snow probably about six inches of snow. And I don't know how these sticker pieces would react to snow because it's obviously water. And I'd hate to have all these things start peeling off on me. Obviously I don't wanna drive it outside right now either because I'm gonna drive it inside. And I think if I drive it around outside, it's gonna get all dirty and I don't know how I go about cleaning it. But that will definitely be featured in a video in the near future as well. But I definitely have some uh, good plans for this thing here, some terrain that we're going to uh, drive it around here, all Lego built terrain. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna show you how to power this thing up and how to control it with your smart device. So it's actually really easy to control this RC car here. You just download the Lego Technic Control app and then you select Extreme Off-Roader. And from there, you see this little control panel. You'll see two different dials, one right here, which is your sort of your acceleration forward and backward. And then one right here, which is your left and your right, which just moves the uh, forward tires either left or right. So using this controller here, we can move it forward or we can move it backward. Fairly simple and actually pretty responsive as well. And we can also turn it. So if I wanted to make a right turn or a left turn, Try not running off the table here, but it actually does turn pretty well. You can see I can control it pretty easily here on my build table. Not only that, but it does have uh, some great suspension, which we are going to test out right away here. So the back suspension is uh, pretty stiff, but not bad. The front suspension has a lot of gives. So we're gonna be able to run over some pretty cool items here. Let's get to it. So the first obstacle I've set up for the extreme off-roader is a little merp wall. These are just the uh, Lego panels that we can build cliffs out of in the Lego city. I'm wondering if it can drive over there. I've just laid some down flat here so that those tires have a little bit smaller of a gap to start. I don't think it'd be able to attack a wall of just six studs sitting straight upwards, but let's check it out here. Let me back it up a bit so we can get some speed. Oh, no problem. That's pretty cool. But yeah, as predicted, it will not go over them straight up. Let's do that one more time. So the Merp wall was a success. What if I add a little bit more here? What if I add a uh, just a boat haul? You think it's gonna drive over the boat haul? Let's try that out. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> you see how the boat haul flipped up on its side there? That gives me another idea. Let's push the boundary with that. Is that gonna go, is it gonna go over that? I don't know. Let's give it a little more speed here. Oh, it got stuck on the boat haul. So this is the test that I've been waiting for for a long time here. I'm curious to know if this RC car can travel over a big pile of Lego bricks. So let's, uh, let's test it out here. 
Oh, too cool. Let's increase the size of the pile. I've essentially doubled the size of the pile with a big honking sort of berm in the middle of it. I, I highly doubt that this thing is going to be able to go through there, but it's worth a shot. No, no, not enough clearance for the wheels there. The, uh, the bricks, it's just sort of digging a hole. The wheels are digging a hole, so maybe we can flatten it out though. No. Oh. So overall, I'm a huge fan of this Lego Technic 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader. Uh, obviously, there's better um, RC cars out there on the market. Like you can buy big gas-powered or battery-powered RC cars that could obviously do a lot better uh, in an RC point of view. But what I really like about this is it's a Lego set, so you go building it, you have fun with all the Technic stuff, and then afterward you can drive around this really cool RC car. In regards to the driving around and the terrain, I have a lot more plans for it in the near future so make sure you guys stay tuned for that so that's really about it for today do you guys own this set and what have you driven it through and what can it withstand let me know by commenting below if you guys like this video give it a big old thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future bye for now